something, you know it's free. That Munchkin doesn't have the grab just yet. And you have a big shatter here from Super. Oh! <laughs> there it is! Oh. Ready? Oh my! Fucking god! Is that, is that a spoon shatter? Is that bumper? Yeah, but I've had a bit of a bumper in the game. Super playing off to the left hand side. He wanted a shatter! <laughs> it is big! Now, the Soul Dynasty sure as heck better be awake. Thank you so much, Mitch. I have the man himself with me, Super. Please give it up. This was his first time on this stage. And he's walking off with a victory. So tell me, what's the experience been like for you today? Um, I thought I was going to be a lot more nervous than I was playing on stage. I think the most nerve, you know, got my nerves going the most was walking out of the entranceway because there was a lot of noise, a lot of uh, cheering. But when I got on stage, uh, it was relatively calm and I, I just played my game. So. Matthew Super Delisi was born on March 28, 2000 and is one of the youngest players in the Overwatch League. A fan of video games since a young age, Super began his gaming career with Crash Bandicoot, but quickly moved up to more competitive titles like Team Fortress 2. Back then, he was heralded for his shot calling and in-game intensity, and when Overwatch first released, the skills he developed in TF2 ESEA transferred over seamlessly. Part of TF2 that I really liked was called MGE, and it was basically like a 1v1 mod. I grinded that out. That's how I got my mechanics in TF2 pretty good because I just played that and played that over and over. Now, he's a core member of the San Francisco Shock, and in this video, we're going to explore just how super he really is. Despite having been signed with the San Francisco Shock since September of 2017, Super wasn't actually able to compete with the rest of the team until March 2018, since he was only 17 years old when he was signed. But when he finally did take the stage, the impact he had was immediate. Super made his Overwatch League debut back in Season 1 with 2,600-568 hero damage on Winston and 103 eliminations. And while his parents were tentative about letting him compete, when he entered the Overwatch League, it became apparent that his video game hobby was about to turn into a career. So you're still really young. The game came out when you were probably 16. How did you just go straight to top 500? Did you have experience in other big FPSs? Well, I played um, ESEA for TF2. Uh, and everyone I played with on Bird Noises and Hammers and LG, they all were TF2 players. So we just... Uh, had a lot, had a lot of um, FPS skill just by TF2. Like the mechanics kind of carried over pretty well, so I was able to pick it up and run from there. Back in his TF2 days, Super was friends with members of a team called Bird Noises. In January of 2017, Super, along with his friends in Bird Noises, came together and joined Hammer Esports. The organization started entering smaller Overwatch tournaments before the entire roster was eventually acquired by Luminosity Gaming Evil. Later that same year, three members of the team moved up to the Overwatch League. As Jake was signed by the Houston Outlaws, Avast was signed by Boston Uprising, and Super was signed by the San Francisco Shock, his first big break in the esports industry. While many of his Shock teammates were constantly singing his praises before the start of the inaugural season, not many Overwatch fans really knew Super at all. And being on the Shock didn't do much to change that, since Super was on the sidelines with Sinatra, acting as an analyst during the regular season matches until they became old enough to compete. While we're uneligible to play, we're basically going to be spectating and can provide input from a third-person point of view, things that the players can't see in-game. So I think having that is going to help. In the meantime, Super would continue to scrim with the team at least once a week, while also playing Overwatch on his own stream. Unfortunately, Super was far and away the best player in competitive, and found it difficult to play his usual role of main tank, since none of his teammates could keep up with the dive meta. This allowed him to experiment, trying different roles and characters and moonlighting as a DPS. But Super's time to shine would finally come when he made his debut as San Francisco Shock's main tank. Like only they can! And Flatter is discorded and knocked to the ground. Now the prick being picked off. Desperately, Fisher trying to keep hold, but Super meets him in the middle with a big charge. And now Michelle's gonna get desuited, and that's gonna be enough for San Francisco Shock! And you may know Super as the loudmouth, witty, 
sarcastic player he is today. Look at these ugly, sloppy players. But when he first joined the league, he started his career a bit on the reserved side. With no prior experience dealing with press or with fans, you can hear him stumbling through this interview from November 2017. Um, I would stay up late and I would, you know, be loud and they would get annoyed because they were, they were trying to sleep. But once I, f I finally brought, because I didn't really tell them what I was doing, so I brought them the first Hammers contract and they were like, what's this? I was like, I can get paid to play this game. They're like, what are you talking about? But as he eased into the spotlight of a professional Overwatch player, that quickly changed. That's why we brought you on. We knew you got a big mouth. We want right, to see you it. use it. All right. <laughs> Most overrated team in the league right now. Oof. Go ham. Go ahead. No, no. Oh, no. Violet. Oh. This, this is it. The world's your oyster. I'm going to say Fusion. 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 Ooh. And everyone here is also trash, but you know, I'm, oh. I'm the best at this what? game. It's not even a joke, by the way. Like, I'm, I'm actually, like, everyone here sucks. I'm actually. Reaper's trash. Don't yeah. pick Reaper ever. That's just kind of how you lose games. I don't know. I mean, I don't think they're bad. I just think they're really inconsistent. So. All right. Okay. All right. That's actually very vanilla. I'm quite disappointed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Super was quickly becoming one of the most popular players, not only on the Shock, but in the entire Overwatch League. And it wasn't just because of his funny commentary and sarcastic comments to interview questions. Um, if you could actually rank yourself in the Overwatch League as a rank player, where would you put yourself as? Uh, so, you know, I watched Watchpoint this morning. Uh, you know, Zoe wanted to call me uh, super bad. I don't, I don't appreciate that very much. Um, but you know, I, I think I think I'm definitely one of the uh, one of the top rinds in the league for sure. The San Francisco Shock had collectively become one of the most beloved teams in the Overwatch League during season two. Despite all of the casters voting against them in stage one of the playoffs, even calling them a wild card. The San Francisco Shock worked their way up to the playoffs, where they gave the fan favorite Vancouver Titans one of the most intense matches of the season. After the defeat, they came back swinging in stage two. The stacked team didn't lose a single map during the regular season, finishing with an impressive and historic 28, zero and zero record. When they faced their biggest rivals in the stage two playoffs, after an epic six game finale, the San Francisco Shock were crowned the Stage 2 champions, handing the Titans their first ever loss since they joined the league. And the Shock have done it! They are your Stage 2 champions! Congratulations! You guys have completed the anime redemption arc. You have taken revenge on the Vancouver Titans. You have gotten the first win against them. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll be honest, I have no idea. That's a very valid feeling. And the Shock couldn't have done it without their main tank, Super. Especially not with the GOATS meta as dominant as it is. Super has spent 89.2% of Season 2 playing Reinhardt. That's almost 15 hours of total playtime. And during that time, he has proved himself as one of the best tanks in the league. When you get into that mindset of you're just on stage and you're just doing what you practiced, it becomes a lot easier and, and a lot of that pressure like just rolls off your shoulders because you're in that mindset now and, and you know that, like okay I practiced this this is what I was doing and now I'm on stage just doing it one more time then a lot of that just becomes easier. Yeah. It's no surprise then that he was voted by fans to participate in the All-Star Weekend where he played on the Pacific team with fellow Shock teammate Sinatra. As one of the youngest players in the league Super still has a lot of room to grow and improve but his impact on the professional scene has already sent shockwaves across the league. And now Michelle's gonna get desuited, and that's gonna be enough for San Francisco Shock. They were playing into a difficult defensive situation. Quickly shaping up to be one of the best tanks around, Super could be poised to challenge the likes of Ameng and Bumper for the Giga Chad crown. And with his abilities, his drive to improve, and his general likability as an Overwatch personality, you can expect Super to be a fan favorite for years to come. Yeah, I'm done. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. And now, a message from our sponsors. You and your friends game together. You win some, you lose some. But sometimes, the challenge is too much, and it takes a real team to get back up. Introducing Insights.
an all-in-one platform to elevate your team performance. Simply play, review, and strategize, all in real time. See why the pros use insights to organize and review their gameplay. Get your free account today. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the Action Discord server in the description to keep up to date with everything esports related. We'll see you next time.